Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something you can, you want us to react to, let us know by dropping us a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Just See 2.0. We post videos weekly, and just subscribe and enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing, amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, everything that you guys do. We appreciate, or I appreciate and yeah i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed today i'm going to be reacting to the last page of zionism end of antichrist gog and magog and world history so without wasting time but then before i start this i think i'm going to cut this video into i'm sorry for cutting it in two but i'm going to cut it in two so without wasting time let's get into the video arrogance and he replied and he said I was given a birthright this is my birthright of superiority I was born to be superior I am superior to him by birthright I'm superior to him I'm special, they're just like cockroaches. This is the arrogance with which history began. And be careful to check out to find whether that arrogance will repeat itself at the end of history. Is this why? Is this why Allah? ordered the angels and ordered Iblis to bow down before Adam so that you can see from the beginning of history how history will end these are a people with whom history began and then finally وَمُلْكِنْ لَا يَبْلَى eternal rule eternal rule we are born to rule over you that history will now repeat itself the arrogance of Pharaoh that arrogance will now manifest itself once again and eternal rule <laughs> will resurface again in the historical process with the Zionist movement and so history is going to end the way Pharaoh ended. That the people who will live the way he lived will end the way he ended. And that end of history will come with the return of the son of Mary, the son of the Virgin Mary. And there are many things that are going to happen at that time. The most powerful voice in human history the most powerful voice in human history the most enduring voice in human history to have prophesied the return of Jesus the son of the Virgin Mary is the voice of Muhammad Allah's blessings be upon him History will end with a clash between those who are faithful to the truth and those who betray the truth. That Jerusalem is at the heart of the end of history. That the clash between those who are faithful to the truth 
and those who betray the truth. That clash is based on Jerusalem. It is Jerusalem which defines that clash. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the angels to bow down and make sijda prostration before Adam alayhi salam. Why? Why would he do such a thing? What is the inner message being sent? Bow down before Adam. He refused. Iblis refused to bow down and prostrate. Was that the reason why Allah made the order to check to see? Was that the reason why? Abba was takbara. He refused and he displayed arrogance. Arrogance. So there was arrogance at the beginning of history. Then Allah asked him, Iblis, when I ordered you, in addition to you, I ordered the angels, when I ordered you to make sijda, to prostrate before Adam, why did you not do so? And he replied, and he said, I was given a birthright. This is my birthright of superiority. I was born to be superior. Does that ring a bell? I was born, I was created to be superior. Ana khayru minhu. I am superior to him. By birthright, I'm superior to him. You created me. I'm special. They're just like cockroaches. This is the arrogance with which history began. And be careful to check out, to find whether that arrogance will repeat itself at the end of history. Is this why? Is this why Allah ordered the angels and ordered Iblis to bow down before Adam? So that you can see from the beginning of history how history will end. These are a people with whom history began. And then finally, وَمُلْكِنْ لَا يَبْلَى Eternal rule. Eternal rule. We are born to rule over you. That there was one who was arrogant. He was all powerful. He believed that the rivers belonged to him and the land belonged to him. And you should not be worshipping someone out there in the sky. You must worship me. Ana rabbukum al-a'la I am the Lord most high I make the rules I am parliament <laughs> Allah says that when Pharaoh was drowning he realized that he wasn't God and then he made a declaration underneath the water that I now believe in the God of Moses, of the Israelite people. The Quran then informs us that Allah responded and said, Al-an, now Pharaoh, and before this you were in rejection, and you were, you were a troublemaker, you were corrupting, you were destroying everything. This day, we have ordained that your physical body is to be preserved by divine order. Your physical body 
is to be preserved. Why? Physical body. لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً so that your physical body, when it is rediscovered, and it will be rediscovered, Allah will see about it, when it resurfaces in the historical process, at that moment, at that moment, لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً a countdown will begin for history to repeat itself for a people who will come after you. A countdown will begin and history will repeat itself. That's why the body is preserved. That the body of Pharaoh was discovered at the same time that the Zionist movement was established in Basel in Switzerland. That history will now repeat itself. The arrogance of Pharaoh. That arrogance will now manifest itself once again. The claim to eternal life which is there symbolized in the pyramid. This claim will now resurface in the stage of history, state of the world. وَمُلْكٍ لَا يَبْلَى an eternal rule <laughs> will resurface again in the historical process with the Zionist movement. And so history is going to end the way Pharaoh ended. That the people who will live the way he lived will end the way he ended. And that end of history will come with the return of the son of Mary, the son of the Virgin Mary. And there are many things that are going to happen at that time. The most powerful voice in human history, the most powerful voice in human history, the most enduring voice in human history, to have prophesied the return of Jesus, the son of the Virgin Mary, is the voice of Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon him. Well, let's leave Surah al kahf and go to the other parts of the Quran, searching for the ayat on Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And we find in Surah Al-Anbiya only one more reference to Gag and Magag. In which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about a town. Remember the town? And he had destroyed the town, punish it by destroying it. And the next... Ah, oh, so far this is very, very interesting. Like there's so many things that stand out but then arrogance seems to be the theme of this also how it's funny how some people actually think that more they think they were born to control us control you control me or they some of you actually out there that think you can control us or me or whoever out there whoever is out there it's really funny that people have such a mindset it's really really funny and it takes a lot of courage to stand up to someone whatever gave these people the right to think they can control people or the world or whatever the case is is what what's funny to me very very funny it's like no it's it's not even your birthright so why do you think you should make someone miserable it's not your birthright why do you think you should have power over someone over the country, over the world, over whatever the case is. We really need to learn to be humble in this world. We really have to be humble. And the people that actually think they can control things, think they're gods. That's a sad part. But anyway, let me get to the second part of this and I'll see you.